run you through the, the single kettlebell workout. Um, but of course, we're putting a little bit of a spin on the single kettlebell workout. So as opposed to doing a single weight for the whole workout, we're gonna use the adjustable kettlebell today. And we're gonna take it down to its lightest weight and we're gonna do a warm up. We're gonna take it to its middle weight and do some kettlebell sport multi-switch. And then we're gonna take it to its heaviest weight and do a strength circuit, okay? So this adjustable kettlebell is a fairly standard model in that you have two uh, wrenches that you use to disassemble it. So first use the Allen wrench to pull this bolt out. And you're gonna notice there's a bunch of kind of standard weight plates in here. Then you need your second wrench to take this nut off, really just to get it loose and then you can use your hands. And then you can take all these guys off. So um, when the bell is empty, I believe it's 12 kg. So we've got two there, three here, four there. Oh my goodness. And then we got some more. So there's another four, three, and we get two. And this one's actually two as well. Okay, so two, four, six. Um, then we have another six, that's 12. And then we have another eight, that's 20. So we got 20 on top of 12, that's 32 kg. So, um, this guy's 12, then we're gonna take it up to somewhere around 20 kg for our uh, middle set, and then we'll load it all up for the strength circuit. So we're gonna put this guy back on. Um, I don't think I need the nut for that, so what I'm gonna do here, just get that guy back on, and then screw this guy back in. Okay, so we start our warm up with 12 kg. Um, it's going to be a uh, one of our uh, follow the leader sort of warm up circuits. So it's basically all going to be kettlebell stuff, and every movement's going to flow right into the next. Each exercise today is going to be 20 seconds in length. There won't be any rest periods. We're just going to flow right from one to the next, and we're going to do four rounds of that. And each set in our workout, warm up, multi switch, strength. Each of those is going to be eight minutes long and you have two minutes in between to disassemble your kettlebell and adjust the weight, okay? So essentially this is gonna be a half hour workout. Okay, let's get started. All right, we're starting with around the body to a hold. All right, here we go. Figure eight to a hold. So through the legs. Figure eight to a clean and press. So figure eight, clean, press, back through, clean, press. Okay, keep it in the overhead, shift the hips, windmill. Pull those hips back in, shift those hips back out. Eyes on the belt. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Follow that leg down to the floor. And we're gonna finish off with a squat hold. 
So just maintain your squat position. You can hold the bell any way you like. Okay, we're back to around the body to a hold, round two. Exhale on the catch. Figure eight to a hold through the legs. Figure eight to a clean and press. Okay, we're doing a windmill. Shift those hips out towards the heels. Fall the leg down. Eyes on the bell. Pull those hips back in, stand tall. Okay, switching to the other side. Squat hold. Don't bottom out on this one. So your butt shouldn't be on your calves. Maintain a little bit of height here. Okay, around the body. Figure eight to a hold. Whoa, we just caught it with two fingers there. Clean. Make sure you're anchoring your shoulder down, right? So space between the uh, ear and the shoulder. Open up through the armpit. Get nice and high. Okay, kick the hip. Fall the bell down. switch. Make sure you're squeezing between your shoulder blades a little bit to help stabilize your shoulder. Okay, squat hold. Almost there, guys. Okay, last time through, around the body. Haven't dropped it yet, that's a good sign. Figure eight. Clean and press. Don't be 
be tempted to rush this one into a snatch. You can save that for another time. And windmill. And switch. And squat hold. Boom. Good stuff. Okay, we got two minutes to take this guy apart. Gonna take the bolt out. So the bell is 12, so we need another 8 kg to make it 20 kg. So I'm going to take this uh, end cap one and put it in. So that one will go in the bottom. So that's two. I need uh, six more. So I'm going to take a three, and then I'm going to take the other three. And then the nut is used to keep them from moving around. So you got you gotta spin that nut all the way to the bottom, all the way up to that plate, so that they're not bouncing around in here. Give that a little tighten. Cap it. This reminds me of movies where they're disassembling and reassembling rifles. straight there. There we go. The clock is ticking. So this is set up for 20 kg now. And I'm gonna do a multi-switch. Snatch multi switch. The clock is going to beep every 30 seconds. So we're going to go 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 seconds. That will be four minutes. And then without rest, we're going to go right into a one arm long cycle. Same thing 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Then we're going to break and we're going to change our weight and head into our uh, string circuit. Okay, 10 seconds. And switch. Okay, one minute down.
Two minutes down. Okay, final minute of snatch. Okay, one arm long cycle. So clean, jerk, cycle through. Two minutes down.
Three minutes down, last minute. two minutes to disassemble your kettlebell. Okay, so now moving into the strength circuit. So um, you've got to be aware when you're putting this back together and putting all the weights in that there is a specific order. So you've got your crown piece, which has an inset for the uh, little sort of protrusion there. So we're going to set that guy in first. That one's fairly obvious. Now, there's two other two kgs and they are not the same one of them also has an inset and that's for the nut to slide into so you got to make sure that you take the one without the inset and put that one in first then it's fairly straightforward from there three kg four kg four kg three kg and then the two kg with the inset now we can throw that nut on and it's deep enough that it's not going to prevent us from putting the end cap on. So get that end cap on there. And then get your bolt in. Get that nice and tight, and we are all set. 32 kg. All right, so we have four exercises, and uh, we're going to run through this circuit twice. The format's going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest, all the way through. We're going to do a deadlift. We're going to do a one-arm alternating row. We're going to do a goblet squat, and then we're going to do a crossover push-up where we have the bell on the floor, hand on the kettlebell, and we're crossing over from side to side. All right, are you guys ready? Let's hit it. So deadlift comes up first. We'll try stiff leg variation. Line up with your bell, hips back, back flat. Keep that bell in line with your feet. Don't let it drift out beyond the toes. Okay, set it down. We're gonna break for 30 seconds. Then we're heading into our one arm alternating row. So, we're going to set up in a bent over tight position with the bell situated on the floor. Feet in line with the bell. Row, set it down. Row, set it down. And if you need to, you can row with both arms. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, break for 30 seconds. We're heading into our goblet squat now. So we're gonna swing that bell up into a loaded position at the chest. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. I prefer to have a palm style grip on the bell, um, as opposed to gripping the horns of the handles, right? So I'll show you what my preferred method is. Okay, both hands on the bell, swing it through, and catch it, palms on the body. Sit deep, explode up. Okay, break for 30 seconds. So now, we're gonna flip that bell on its side, either forward or back. I usually like to go back, because I can just bring my fingers over the top and sort of help to pull it back and dig it into the floor a little bit to stabilize it. Other hand on the floor. Okay, here we go. Crossover. Crossover. I would say don't get too fancy with this because we don't want the bell rolling on you and getting hurt. Not the bell getting hurt, you getting hurt. Okay, that is one round. We're gonna do one more round and then Fini. So bring that bell right side up and we're gonna do our deadlifts again. <laughs> okay, hips back, back flat, deep breath. Nice control on the way down. Come up with some force. <sighs> Heading back to our one arm row. Make sure you're hydrating in between these sets. I forgot my water bottle, so just got to get through it. It's hot! Here we go. Make sure you're pulling back towards the hip, not up into the armpit. We want to get good lat activation on this. So we want to make sure that we're pulling in close to the hips as opposed to up and out towards the chest. Good stuff. All right, goblet squats coming up. Okay, deep breath, refocus, here we go.
Okay, finishing off with our push ups. Woo! We'll try getting a little fancy on this one. <clears throat> We are done. <sighs> All right, if you followed along, great job. Thanks for joining in. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you keep checking our YouTube channel and our Patreon page for more great content. Thanks, guys. Uh -huh.